Okay, let's make a start. So, line. Right, 4.1. 4.1 is a bit odd. So I've come across many problems like this. All we've got here is um, a turning moment. So you've got a cantilever fixed to the wall here. We've got this turning moment like that. Usually, the way I approach these problems, I'm going to um, uh, find, say, reactions, but not much point here because um, there's no uh, shear force along here, no force, force has been applied. Uh, basically, I know that the bending moment graph is just a flat line. So, uh, and where that's going to be M0, it's going to be positive. So that's what my bending moment graph looks like. So, if I come to do this equation here, I'm going to look for the equation of elastic curve for the cantilever AB. So, I am plopping it into this equation. Well, that's a constant EI. What we have to be a bit careful about is whether this is going to be a positive or negative. Just use your brain. Okay, so if you end up with Y ending up being positive, uh, you know that your Y is pointing downwards. I would think, because twisting it is going to make it go down. Or is it going to make it go up? Thinking about it. Twisting it that way. So I'm at the end of the beam. And I'm doing that twist. OK, I'm going to go up. So, use your brain. <laughs> All right. So, how do I integrate a constant? A constant, constant, constant. With difficulty. So that gives me with respect to x plus a constant. So that's going to be a. Now I'm going to. Um, I could apply a boundary condition at this point. The boundary condition is this. This is length l. I'm defining x zero at this point here, okay. Uh, and I would expect that the gradient y will be going off flat. So y goes off flat, moves along, and then comes to this point and starts pointing downwards. So that's going to be flat. So I'm going to apply that boundary condition. So boundary condition one is that the gradient when x equals L, so I make the gradient a function, or rather, not make it a function, but um, emphasize that it's a function of x, where x equals L, setting that boundary into condition. And we're going to say that that equals 0. So that equals M0L EI plus A. So therefore you can see that A equals minus M0 L divided by EI. Integrate this again. <laughs> right, so I'm just informing you that this is, I know this is going to be a function of X.
integrate that term, I'll substitute that in. So that's my a, that's all a constant. You need to, a lot, what a lot of students make a mistake here is that they forget a constant. When you integrate a constant, you don't get a constant. When you integrate a constant, you get a constant times x. And then you get another constant. So I will call that b. So I'm looking for another boundary condition I can apply. And the other boundary condition is, again, when x equals l, I expect y to equal 0 because I'm going to define y datum to be along that line there. <coughs> right, so when x equals l, right underneath this time because I don't have much space, boundary condition 2 is you've got l squared 2ei minus m0 l squared, make the x into an l, l squared, e i plus b. And this needs to equal 0 when we're here. So for that to equal 0, I can see I've got a half here. Take away 1, so this is going to be in, in therefore I'm going to need to make this into another half. So b equals m0 l squared divided by 2 e i. Okie dokie, so that gives me my final function for the deflection. So m0 x squared 2 e i. Uh, take away m0 l E I X plus M zero L squared two E I. So so far not looking nice. Let's tidy this up. Right, so tidy that up. I will make that therefore M X. It's not working for me. Okay, it's going to go off your screen. X. Let's take out the M zero twos, I guess. E I. That looks more like a quadratic x squared. Uh, L two L x plus L squared. Does that look like anything? So that equals x take away l squared. So expand out the bracket there. So we're going to have an x squared. This times this twice. So that becomes minus 2lx and then this squared. Okay, so we can write it in this form, and that's what I was looking for. Right, so that's part A done. Part B, what is the deflection at the free end? So all we're looking for there, 
So L is, if I put um, any X in there, you can see that's going to give me positive, so L is actually pointing down. So I suspect the question where this has come from could be or in different using a different convention to what we're using at UE. Uh, but we're looking at deflection. Uh, right, so all we want there therefore is one L. Uh, so X to be zero. So my deflection will be M zero X equals zero, that becomes L squared. 2EI. So I've set that to zero, that's all we're doing there. That was easy. Okay. So we should be pointing upwards. So I think this question and the convention used in from the book that where this is coming from, the convention we're using UE and the from the book that we're using is I think is different. I'm gonna pause this and have a look at the book. Okay, so I am uh, an idiot. The book is using the same as uh, UE's convention. So yeah, so that is um, deflecting upwards. So we're we're twisting the end. We're turning and we're making it go up. So we're going upwards. Let me say deflect. Right. What is the slope at the free end? What is the slope? So we slope by that we're saying what's the gradient. So what's delta y by delta x. So for that I will go back to this equation which was m0 x e over i. The a I found to be minus minus m0 l divided by EI. So now I just need to substitute that in for the position of X. So I do that by saying that's for say that I'm no that's a function, so X equals to zero and then we get minus M zero L E I. Right, so that means we must be sloping downwards. Which actually, yes, yeah, so that makes sense. So we have um, kind of put a screwdriver at the end, twisted it clockwise, and this is what happens apparently. So we we've gone up, and our deflection pointing down. Cool. Okay. Alternatively you can make that positive and then say that we're going this way. Alrighty. Uh, so that's four point one. Sorry, I should trust Arnold. So we are using the same convention as they are using for UE.